pressure is normal. You must be getting excited. Over the moon. How many weeks? Uh, 31. And tell me about your symptoms. Uh, we spent the weekend at a friend's cottage up north. I started to feel nauseous on the car ride back. And this was yesterday? Uh -huh. I thought it was car sickness, but this morning I had a fever. And then we started to worry that the baby wasn't moving as much, but um, we couldn't be sure, so. Let's take a look. Sorry, I know it's a little cold. That sounds good, right? Yes, very good. Do you know the gender of the baby? Because I think I can tell. No spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we've, we've just waited this long and, and we want to go the distance. So. Well, I completely understand. Well, everything seems normal. Baby seems healthy. Blood pressure is good, so you can sit up. But there is one more thing I should look at. Um, how long have you had that rash on your arm? I scraped myself on the dock at the cottage, climbing down to the water to go for a swim. Any pain? A bit, but I bruise easily. That, that's all it is, right? Well, we just need to make sure. I need to make an incision, prep the lidocaine. Are, are you worried about something? If there is an infection, we just need to know how to manage it. It's okay. Anything? No. You might want to look away. Oh, he's a squeamish one. <laughs> I have other skills. <laughs> okay. Dr. Bishop? Yeah, what is it? I've got a 36-year-old woman, 31 weeks pregnant, presenting with flesh-eating bacteria. I've never seen necrotizing fasciitis in a pregnant woman. No, neither have I. Have you treated this infection before? No, sir, but I have seen numerous cases of gangrene. And then you know we had to move fast. You started her on antibiotics. 600 milligrams of IV clinda, 2 grams of IV ANSEF. She's already on fluids. How'd she contract it? She scraped herself on a dock. And the baby? Little heart rate's normal. Sepsis from infection can cause stillbirth or miscarriage. Well, it's presenting on her upper arms just above the elbow, so hopefully we can control it and limit spread. We'll do an MRI, see if that's the case. And then what, Dr. Hammond? Assuming it hasn't spread, what are her options? Uh, radical debridement. But that means putting her under. Extremely risky for a pregnant woman. Uh, the only other option is amputation, and she'll need a general anesthetic either way. Well, the decision has to be the patient's, ultimately. I'll reach out to infectious diseases, start a dialogue with a surgeon. Mm -hmm. I'll talk to Maria. <laughs> are, are you talking about cutting off my arm? If you choose this option, yes. <laughs> and this other option, debridement, it means I get to keep it. Yes, but you have to understand, amputation increases the likelihood that we get everything. Debridement means cutting out only the infected tissue, but the risks of the bacteria spreading are higher. I should have never gone for that sweep. Oh, you don't say no, no, that. Javier, you can't. The infection is dangerous and aggressive. Am I not already exposed? Well, let's hope not, and we cannot take that chance. And these antibiotics, are you sure they won't harm our baby? Your baby is safe for now. The best predictor of the baby doing well is you doing well. Which means we need to decide. How is this happening now? We've tried for so long for this baby. That's all we've thought about for years. A, a surgeon is coming to talk to you shortly, but any delay will put your life and your baby's life in danger. This is crazy. We, we need time. Debridement. I want the debridement. No, M Maria. I want to hold our child in my arms. Rock my baby to sleep. Radiology sent the results directly to me. <sighs> The debridement didn't stop the bacteria from spreading. There's infected tissue deeper in the shoulder. Which means amputation is no longer an option. We need to get her back in for another debridement immediately or she'll go into septic shock. <sighs> they knew the risks. All we can do now is deal with what's in front of us. Sir, the baby might not withstand a second debridement. And if the infection spreads to the uterus, fetus, then miscarriage and stillbirth are very real possibilities. We need to move fast and we are out of conservative options, which leaves us with... A C-section. Get the baby out safely and then right into another debridement. She's 31 weeks? Yes, viable. Maybe not for the mother. 
Delaying the debridement for a caesarean poses a major risk. Her inflammatory response could trigger multiple organ failure. If we don't deliver, the baby won't make it. Save the baby or save the mother? Save both, but they need to pick who goes first. I'll call OB. No, we can't send her upstairs. It's protocol not to let an infection like neck fascia anywhere near that ward. I'll arrange for an OR. No. Javier. No, he's asking us to choose between your life and the baby, so we, we can't do that. I can't do that. Not to choose, Javier, just prioritize. Save the baby. Maria, but wait. Listen. Save the baby. Maria, let's talk about this, okay? I can't lose this baby, Javier. I won't. You know what this means to me. Okay, Maria, but you could die. I love this baby. It's already a part of me and I need to protect it. I need you to be strong and there for our baby either way. And I need to hear you say it. I need you to promise me. Of course. Of course I will. I, I promise. I love you. Not much time. Come on, let's go. I'll start begging. Get the monitors up. Chest is moving. Turn the O2 to 100. What? Wait. What's wrong? What, what's happening? Uh, the, the baby's premature. There's added steps to be taken. But heart rate's at 47. Prepare to intubate. What? The, the, the baby's not breathing? The heart rate's too low. They're, they're working to bring it up. What's happening to Maria? She, um, she's in respiratory distress and septic shock. But Javier, I promise you, our surgeons will do whatever they can for her. Go to the queue. Your baby's not out of the woods yet. There, there could be choices to be made. But Maria... There's nothing you can do for Maria right now. I know you want to be in two places at once, but you can't. I'll, I'll stay with Maria, and as soon as there's news of any kind, I'll come get you. Go see your baby, Javier. Beautiful baby. 